The church of the living God is not based upon one person. It's not based upon one church. It's not based upon one group of people. There is only one church, and that is the church of the living God. We get to be a privilege this morning to be part of that incredible church. And so this morning we've joined together on our fifth Sunday, the last service of 2018, to share with you what 2019 has in store. God, when he called us to this city six years ago, our desire was that we would reach the whole city. We are just beginning. We're just starting. We're just getting the plow in the ground. I don't know if you think we're there. We're not. We're just, we're just uh, tipping the horizon of what God has in store for St. John. St. John is not uh, just a city. This church, this city is instrumental in our district. It's instrumental in our country. And it is instrumental around the world. I am, I am glad this morning to be part of the church of the living God. 2 Samuel 23 and verse 9 says, And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo. That's quite a name, isn't it? The Hohite. One of the three mighty men with David, when they defiled the Philistines that were gathered together to battle, and the men of Israel were gone away. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand clave unto the sword. And the Lord wrought a great victory that day. And the people returned after him only to spoil. And after him was Shammah, the son of Agi, the Herite. And the Philistines were gathered together into a troop where was a piece of ground full of lentils. And the people fled from the Philistines. But he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it and slew the Philistines. And, and the Lord wrought a great victory. These are just two of the mighty men of David that, that made a decision. We are going to be victorious. No matter what anyone else does, no matter what anyone else says, we are going to be victorious. So I give you the theme verse for 2019. Psalm 149 and verse 6. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their mouth hand. Our theme for 2019. Now, James, you can fully unveil. Our theme for 2019 is victorious. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. See, Winston Churchill said there's only one answer to defeat, to defeat and that is victory. As long as we have our faith, he said, in our own cause and an unconquerable will to win, victory will not be denied us. Victory, he said, at all cost. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory however long and how hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. He said, history is written by the victors. Hear me this morning. The defeated don't write history. It is the victors that write history. And I don't know about you, but there's something inside of me today that for 2019, there has to be the mindset of victory. He said in this statement, without victory, there is no survival. Let that sink in this morning. Some people suggest that it's impossible to continuously live in victory. But a guy by the name of Edgar A. Guest, he wrote a little poem that was stated, it couldn't be done. Somebody said that it couldn't be done. But he with a chuckle replied that maybe it couldn't, but he would be one who wouldn't say so till he tried. So he buckled right in with the Trace of a grin on his face. If he worried, he hit it. He started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done. 
and he did it. Somebody scoffed, oh, you'll never do that. At least no one has ever done it. But he took off his coat and he took off his hat. And the first thing we knew, he begun it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin, without any doubting or quit it, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done. And he did it. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophesy failure. There are thousands to point out to you one by one the dangers that wait to assail you. But just buckle in with a bit of a grin. Just take off your coat and go to it. Just start to sing as you tackle the thing that cannot be done. And you will do it. I'm making a decision. I hope you will too. That 2019 you will be victorious. See, our text gives us two examples of David's mighty men that went against all odds to be victorious. Eleazar smote the Philistines until his hand was weary. His hand claved, the Bible says, to the sword, and the Lord did a great victory. You talk about being tired. You can't get the sword out of his hand because it's so so uh, ingrained into his Hand. Shammah, the Bible says, who was protecting the field of lentils, stood in the middle of the field and defeated the Philistines by the hand of the Lord and himself. Even if it comes to the point where no one else is standing beside you, no one else is agreeing with you when it comes to what the world, per, what, what the world says and how it uh, portrays. Uh, but you decide, I'm going to stand with God. I'm going to stand on the Lord's side. I know at the end of the day, there's going to be victory for those who will stand with the Lord. He will perform a great victory in your hand. How were these great victories possible? Where did they learn the lessons that would help them accomplish such feats? Is this possible for us today? Can we have this type of success against the enemy of our soul today? These two were part of the mighty men of David. Their leader had trained them how to be successful. And you can find that training from Psalm 135. To 150. I won't preach all of those chapters today, but I will go through some. See, each of those chapters gives us the job description of each of us, and then it gives us the job description of the Lord. See, man's job description in Psalm 135, verse 1 says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord and in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. That's our job description. God's job description starts in verse 6. Well, whoever the Lord pleased, he did it. He, that did he in heaven and earth. In the seas and all deep places, he causes the vapors to ascend. From the ends of the earth, he maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth wind out of his treasures. He smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of thee, O Egypt, unto Pharaoh and upon all his servants, who smote great nations and slew mighty kings. If you want a simple explanation of what was just read, there is no battle that is not the Lord's. His job description is the battle belongs to him. If you and I are going to be victorious, all we have to do is lift our hands and praise him and give him thanks and give him all the glory and God will take over the battle. Psalm 136, verse 1, man's job description, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth, doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. You can go on and on in that psalm. God's job description starts... In verse 4, to him who alone doeth great wonders, to him who alone doeth great wonders, 
His mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters. To him that made great lights. To, to him the sun ruled by day. The moon and the stars to rule by night. His mercy endureth forever. See what? What, what the Lord is saying, there is nothing that he can't create in your situation. There is absolutely nothing that he can't create to allow you to have victory in 2019. If you'll just lift up your hands and praise him throughout this year, I can guarantee you that God will bring you victory. He started it. He just spoke the stars into existence. He made the moon and the sun. He made everything. If he can do that, I can tell you what. He can make a way where there doesn't seem to be a way. He can make uh, your night uh, into a golden day. Uh, he can take your situation and give you a solution. Yeah. 2019 is to be victorious. Psalm 138. Man's job description. Verse 1. I will praise thee with my whole heart. That's our job description. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. God's job description, verse 3. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengtheneth me with strength in my soul. Verse 7, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Let me tell you, man's job description is to praise him and to lift him up and to glorify him. And God's job description is he will bring a revival to your soul. He will take care of you in the driest of times. He will fill you with his spirit all over anew. He will give you a freshness of the Holy Holy Ghost, uh, that's his job description. I can't, I can't touch you with the Spirit. I can't revive you with his presence. That's his job description. My job description, your job description is just to praise him. Just to praise him. Uh, 139. God's job description is extended. He says, O oh Lord, thou searchest me and know me. Thou knowest my downsitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down. And art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue. But, that, but lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. Do you know what he's saying? He said, he's got you no matter what's happening. I thought you'd be just a little bit more excited about that. He's got you no matter what's happening in your life. You have no idea what 2019 is going to bring. But God's job description is he's got you no matter what's taking place. I wish I could tell you that all of 19 will be rosy and everything will be fancy and everything will be good and lovely. I don't know that, but I do know one thing, that his job description is he's got you. Hallelujah, he's got you. That's his job description. 142 gives a little more. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice and the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path and the way wherein I walked. Have thy privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and behold, there was, there was no man that would have known me. Refuse failed me. No man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord. I said, thou art my refuge. And my portion in the land of the living. God's job description is everything that you need in 2019, he's got it. Everything you need, he's got it. You need salvation for a family member, he's got it. You need healing for your body? He's got it. You need provision for your family? He's got it. You need direction for your life? 
He's got it. You need a refreshing for your soul? He's got it. He has got everything you need. Yeah. 145. See, I'm, going, I'm trying to go quick. Man's job description, verse 1, I will extol thee, my God, O king. I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of thy glorious honor, of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. Man's job description. 146, praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praise unto my God while I have any being. That's my job description. I'm going to praise him. I want to know if everybody in this building is going to praise God no matter what happens in 2019. I want to know if everybody's going to make up their mind in 2019 to, to fulfill your job description and praise him above everything else in this world. Yeah. God's job description 146. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, who giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord raised them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He reliveth the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. That's God's job description. You and I, you and I can't loose the prisoners. And we can't open the eyes of the blind. And we can't lift up those that are down. But God's job description, he can do all of that. And he can turn the wicked upside down. Don't worry. Just put yourself into the hands of the Lord with a whole pile of praise. And everything's going to be okay. One forty nine, man's job description. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. And let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. That sounds like a good praise session. I don't know about you. But I hope in 2019 you find yourself, even if you're all by yourself, in a good old-fashioned praise time with God. Maybe in the back room of your house or in the basement or on the front lawn. It doesn't matter to me. If you find yourself in a good old-fashioned praise time with God, hallelujah, you sing even though you may not be the best singer. And you praise Him because that is your job description. If you're going to be victorious in 2019, you've got to praise Him. See, God's job description, we're getting there. Verse 4 of 149 says, For the Lord taketh pleasure in His people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. See, 2019, God wants you and I to be victorious. That's why he ends this wonderful group of psalms. With Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. 
Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. If you want to be victorious in 2019, you've got to praise Him. You've got to praise Him. All across our city, from Grand Bay to Quispamsis, God has blessed us with great men that are leading churches. But I'm not satisfied. I'm not content. I'm not content. I'm not satisfied today. There's something inside that says, I want to have more victory. I want to be greater in victory. I want to be more victorious. So for that to happen, everybody in the house of the Lord has a mindset you're going to praise Him. No matter what happens, God, everything about you is good. Everything about you is great. There's nobody like you. There's nobody beside you. There's nobody compared to you. I'm going to praise you. I'm going to praise you. And let me tell you, victory will be yours. It'll be yours. I expect to hear in 2019 many being filled with the Holy Ghost and baptized, Brother Thornton, and quiz fancies. Brother Griffith, I'm expecting people to be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost on the west side. Brother Minton, I'm believing for a revival in Grand Bay and Westfield for a revival of souls to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and to be baptized in His precious name. In the north and the south and lower west, I'm believing for an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to praise Him in advance for what He's going to do because we are going to be victorious yeah I'm almost done this is the praisers alphabet the praisers alphabet you can talk about your anxieties that's A or You can praise the advocate, the all in all, the almighty, the alpha and omega, the altogether lovely, the amen, the anointed, the apostle of our profession, the author of our eternal salvation, and the one who is alive forevermore. You and I make the choice. You can talk about your bitterness, or you can praise the banner. The bearer of sin, the beginning and the ending, the beloved, the buckler, the branch, the bread, the blessed hope, the bridegroom, the bright and the morning star, the one who is before all things. You can talk about your concerns or you can praise the captain of your salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chosen of God, the Christ, the chief shepherd, the cleft of the rock, the comforter, the commander, the consolation, the counselor, the creator, the cheapest among ten thousand. You and I have a choice. You can talk about your depression. Or you can pray the, praise the daysman, the day spring from on high, the day star to arise, the defense, the deliverer, the desire of all nations, and the dwelling place. You can talk about your emptiness. Or you can praise the elect, the eternal God, the everlasting light, the ensign, the Emmanuel, the everlasting name, the express image of God And the everlasting Father. You can talk about your fears. Or you can praise the faithful and the true. The finisher of your faith. The first begotten of the dead. The firstborn. The faithful high priest. The first fruits of them that slept. The fortress. The foundation. The fountain of living waters. The friend of sinners. The faithful and the true. The foreordained before the foundation of the world. The friend that sticketh closer than a brother. 
You can talk about your guilt. Or you can praise the gift of God, the glorious name, the good master, the glory of God. God bless forever. God manifest in the flesh. God who avenges me. God with us. God my strength. The great shepherd of the sheep, the guiltless, the governor, the God of my life, the great God, the guide, and the God of my salvation. You and I have a choice if we want to be victorious. You can talk about your habits. Or you can praise the habitation of the justice, the head of the principality and power, the head of the body, the heir of all things, the helper, the hidden man, the hiding place, the high priest, the high tower, the holy one, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the house of defense, the high and lofty one who inhabiteth eternity. You can talk about your insecurities or you can praise the I am, the innocent Emmanuel, the image of the invisible God. You can get caught up in your jealousies or you can praise Jesus Christ, the judge of the quick and the dead, the jasper stone, the just one, and the judge of all the earth. You can talk about your knowledge or you can praise the king of glory, the king of saints, the keeper, the king eternal, the king immortal, the kinsman, the king in his beauty, the king forever and ever, the kindness of the love of God, the king of kings, and the king who cometh in the name of the Lord. You and I have a choice. You can talk about your loneliness or you can praise the last Adam, the lawgiver of life, the lifter up of mine head, the light of the world, the lily of the valley, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living bread, the Lord of lords, the living God, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord of glory, the lowly in heart, the Lord God omnipotent, and the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. I don't know about you. But there's something that says I want to be victorious. You can get caught up in misery. Or you can praise the magnified. The maker. The man Christ Jesus. The man of sorrows. The man of the master. The mediator. The meek. The mouth of God. The merciful. The high, faithful high priest. The Messiah. The mighty God. The morning star. The mystery of God. And the one who is marvelous in our eyes. You can talk about your needs or you can praise the Nazarene. The nail fastened in a short place and the name above every name. Don't get caught up in offenses. Praise the offering and sacrifice. The offspring of David. The ointment poured forth. The only potent. The omega. The only wise God. The only begotten of the Father. I don't know about you, but something inside wants to praise him. Because there's a desire to be victorious. You can talk about problems. Or you can praise the Passover, the pavilion, the perfect man, the physician, the place of refuge, the portion of mine inheritance, the potter, the precious cornerstone, the preeminence, the priest of the most high God, the prince and savior, the prophet, the propitiation, the purifier, and the prince of You can talk about questions, or you can praise the one who is the quickening spirit. Ah. You feel a praise coming on? See, we got a job description. He's got a job description. His job description will be fulfilled if ours is fulfilled. You can talk about reasons. Or you can praise the rain, the ransom for all, the rabbi, the redeemer, the redemption, the refiner's fire. The resting place, the righteousness of God, the refuge in times of trouble, the rock of your salvation, the root and the offspring of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of the reward for the righteous, the riches of his glory, the righteous judge, the river of water in a dry place, and the resurrection and the life. You can talk about your sadness, or you can praise the sacrifice for sins, the salvation of God, the seed of a woman. The sanctuary, the saving strength of his anointed, the savior of the world, the scapegoat, the scepter of Israel, the secret, the seed of Abraham, the sent one, the separate for sinners, the servant, the shadow, from the heat, the shelter, the shepherd, the shield, Shiloh, the sign, the son of the living God, the star of Jacob, the sweet smelling savor, the stone which the builders rejected. The strength of my life, the strong consolation, the stronghold, the strong tower 
from the enemy. The sure foundation, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Man, I wish I could give you a reason to praise him. You can talk about your trials or you can praise the tabernacle of God. The temple, the test there, the treasure, the teacher, the testimony, the true bread, the true light, the true vine, the true witness, the true mercy of God, the truth of the living God. You can talk about uncertainty or you can praise the undefiled, the understanding, the unknown God, the unspeakable gift, the upright and the upholder of all things. Everyone knows their alphabet. You know how close I'm getting to the end. So you can talk about victimization or you can praise the very great, the veil, the victory, the very peace of God, the vine, the voice, the very high priest, or the very present help in the time of trouble. You can talk about your weaknesses or you can praise the wall of fire, the wave offering, the wedding garment, the well of the living waters, the wisdom of God, the witness, the well of salvation, the wonderful, the word, the worthy, the wise master builder, the way, the truth, and the life. I've got lots of reasons to praise him. You can talk about your excuses or you can praise the one who is excellent. That's a little stretch on the, on the word X, letter X. You can talk about your yearnings or you can praise the one whose yoke is easy and his burden is light. Music comes. You can talk about your zeros or you can praise the one who is the zeal of the Lord. I don't know about you, but in 2019, I want to be victorious. So if you're going to be victorious in 2019, here's your theme. You've got to praise him. You've got to praise him. You've got to praise him when you don't feel like it. You've got to praise him when no one else is praising him. You've got to praise him when it's not, it's not uh, popular. You've got to praise him, hallelujah, no matter what is happening in your life. Because I want to be victorious. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. All across our city, a long time ago, I decided this wasn't my kingdom. This is not my kingdom. This is God's kingdom. My goal is to just help every person in this city that wants to know Him to get to know Him. Nobody, nobody excused. Nobody missing. Nobody left out. And I believe that the more lighthouses we have for people to have the opportunity to find Him, the better chance everybody will get to know Him. So at Mission Point, the Mother Church, listen, I, I, I can't do this. I can't do it myself. I've got great men and women that are connected that are working hand in hand with us. Yes, we're all different. We all got different. We got different personalities. No one wants to be like me. I mean, I don't blame them. Everybody's different. That's why it's able to be victorious. We all got our own talents. We got all our own abilities. But in all of that, we will not accomplish what God wants to us to, for us to accomplish. If we don't do our job description, so he can do his. So I don't know how you want to approach 2019. But whether it's a youth night, a prayer night, 
whether it's a ladies Bible study, whether it's a gathering at Tim Hortons, whether it's a, a family day, whether it's a music event, it doesn't matter what kind of an event it is. If you come with a mentality that I'm going to fulfill what God has asked me to do, and that is to praise Him. That's to give Him glory. No matter what else is happening around me, no matter what else anyone else is doing, no matter what else is taking place, I'm going to praise Him. Then I will promise you, without any hesitation, that God will do His job description. Because God dwells. Hear me. God dwells. The Bible says in heavens. That means He lives in. He takes up residence in. God dwells in the praises of His if you want God to be in your life in 2019, all you got to do is praise Him. And God will show up. He'll show up in your family. He'll show up at your job. He'll show up in your health. He'll show up in your finance. He'll show up in your street. He'll show up in every part of your life if you will just praise Him. Would you stand to your feet right now and fill this altar with praise because we've come to praise Him. I want to be victorious. I want to be victorious. I want to be victorious. So I'm going to praise you. Will you come to the altar this morning uh, and end 2018 uh, praising Him, uh, ready to begin uh, 2019 by praising Him. Hallelujah.